Vatering Rotterdam is well known for her ship repair activities such as steelworks, engine works, hydraulic works, electrical and piping, with facilities like its own lay-by berths, shore cranes, well-equipped workshops and working boats. And on top of this, Vatering Rotterdam is the sales and or services station for some of the finest marine equipment makers. Earlier this year, Vatering Rotterdam received a remarkable phone call from one of the biggest container lines in the world with the request, are you able to exchange the 113 tons crankshaft section from a Salsa 8 RTA 84C main engine in vessels of float conditions in the port of Antwerp? After the inspection, engineers and project managers from Vatering Rotterdam, together with owner's representatives, the engine maker and heavy lift specialist, sit down in order to make a plan of approach. This resulted in a superb project plan with a short delivery time, which made the owner's representatives decide to grant the contract to Vatering Rotterdam, despite stiff competition from some major European shipyards. Vatering Rotterdam started after preparations in Rotterdam and Antwerp with the dismantling of all components such as cylinder heads, liners, skirts, exhaust valves, exhaust receiver, turbos, pistons, connecting rods and coolers. All components were transported to our workshop in Rotterdam. The intermediate shaft between the main engine crankshaft and propeller shaft were removed for transportation and lifting purposes. Sections from the engine room bulkhead and the tank top from the aft hold were also removed. The main upper frame, complete with cylinder blocks from the engine with a weight of 400 tons, was prepared for lifting by means of transversal and longitudinal beams. Underneath the beams, hydraulic jacks were placed on the tank top, which lifted the main frame step by step up to a height of 4 meters. Hydraulic strand jacks were carefully positioned on the main deck for lifting the damaged crankshaft out of the main bearings. After lifting the crankshaft out of position, a skidding device was positioned underneath the crankshaft and in the propeller shaft tunnel. The crankshaft was lowered into specially made cradles and skidded out through the opening in the engine room bulkhead into the propeller shaft tunnel. The damaged crankshaft was then lifted through the opening in the tank top by making use of two shore cranes out of the ship. The capacity of the shore cranes was 700 tons each and they were working simultaneously. In the meantime, all components in the workshop were cleaned, checked, measured and reconditioned or renewed when necessary.
Directly after removal of the old crankshaft, the new crankshaft was lifted into the vessel, into the cradles and skidded back in position and lowered down into the new main bearings. Finally, the upper engine frame with cylinder blocks was lowered back in position and connected to the bed plate. After alignment of the two crankshaft sections, the connecting holes between the crankshaft sections and intermediate shaft were machined in situ. The engineers from Vatering Rotterdam rebuilt the engine in 10 weeks and after carefully checking all systems such as cooling, lubrication, fuel, starting air and alarm systems, the engine was heated up and started for the first key trials. After successful sea trials in the English Channel, Vatering Rotterdam returned the vessel safe and sound on the exact agreed delivery date to the owner's representatives. The vessel reached a speed of 27.5 knots during the sea trials. Vatering Rotterdam is proud to have completed one of the most challenging projects and is ready for the next one.